It's an unforgettable sound. Something just blew up at the Two bombs exploding near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. In just 12 seconds, the terrorist attack killed three people, injured hundreds more, and left thousands scared and confused. When he heard the first explosion, Boston firefighter and 1999 Siena College graduate Jimmy Plourd was working about 50 feet away from its source. He knew it sounded like a bomb and immediately started running to help. We didn't have to run far to see people coming at us with uh, cuts and clothes ripped off and burned and all sorts of different things. Even Plourd, who worked for Boston EMS before becoming a firefighter almost four years ago, didn't anticipate how bad the scene was going to be. Amidst the chaos, Plourd relied on his training and trusted his instincts. I realized that I have a job to do, and, and what that is, be matter of fact, who can I help first? As he navigated the smoky, blood-smeared scene, Plourd made his way through the scaffolding and bleachers and into the building near the blast site. As he yelled for people to leave the area, the firefighter heard a call for help. And another guy, Bruce, actually yelled and said, hey, you gotta help this girl. So I, uh, I, I went over and he had started to tie a tourniquet on and uh, I tightened it down. I said, you gotta go. Um, and I said, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take care of this girl. The image of Plourd carrying her to safety has become synonymous with the heroism and bravery exhibited by Boston's first responders in the aftermath of the attack. At first, that picture gave me a, a bit of anger, kind of dealing with the emotions of the day. Um, but now, uh, you know, uh, there's a sense of pride knowing that I think I did my best that day. And I know everyone else that was out there did their best as well. Plourd says, along with the great work of firefighters and EMTs, the response of everyday people on the scene truly made Massachusetts Patriots Day holiday, which commemorates the opening battle of the Revolutionary War, live up to its name. They decided to take a stand to say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna make a difference. I'm gonna help save someone's life today. So in, in that regard, they became true patriots that day to help the fellow Americans. The girl in the picture is Victoria McGrath. Plourd visited her in the hospital and is kept in touch. He says she's recovering and remains in good spirits. She could have lost her life that day. Um, and I like to think that the efforts of not only myself, but everybody who was involved to help save her life so she can go on and do great things. The potential for loss on that fateful day hits close to home for Plourd. His wife, Michelle, brought their 18-month-old daughter, Kaylee, down to the finish line to see her first Boston Marathon. They were sitting in front of the building where the first bomb would explode. Fortunately, they left in the nick of time. Uh, I got a text at 2.30 saying that uh, they're hopping on the train. The bombs went off at 2.49. So um, 19 minutes could have changed my life forever. Plourd credits his family and fellow firefighters with helping him cope with the myriad of emotions that come along with working through such a traumatic event and being thrust into the national spotlight. He says hearing from his Siena College friends also gave him comfort. It was after the marathon, um, getting hundreds and hundreds of calls from all sorts of yahoos all over. Everybody wants to be your friend. Um, but it was the Siena guys that really uh, that reached out and made a difference um, because they're genuine. They're friends. Um, and I know I can count on them. Floyd majored in political science and played rugby while at Siena but he says the community support is what makes the college special. Plourd says one impromptu learning experience during a Siena event has stuck with him through his days working as a history teacher for Boston EMS and now as a firefighter. It all kind of ties back for me, something I learned at Siena. Um, it's on my Facebook. I say it to, uh, I, I say it to kids, um, you know, live your life to be greater than yourself. Father Kevin Mackin said that. Plourd believes that the former Siena College president's remarks are words to live by, and he hopes to someday pass them along to his children. You can go out in the world, you can make a lot of money, um, you can do a lot of different things, but at what point do you say, maybe this is enough, um, they need to give back and you know help somebody else out. Um, and that's really gonna be the measure of a man for me. While Plourd's profile has become more pronounced since this picture was published, his perspective hasn't changed. It remains the same as it's been since he took Father Mackin's message to heart. 
Court is back to work and waiting for the next call, or as he sees it, the next opportunity to serve people in their time of need. Bad things are still gonna happen. Um, uh, there's gonna be fires, there's gonna be death and destruction. Um, when it happens, I hope I'm working and I hope I can be there to help.